to come on here and talk about something um i wanted to touch on a subject of colorism because i was watching i was watching soul food not the movie but the series and on one of the episodes um maxine um addresses the issue of her son amad dating a light-skinned girl because she talks about how she was affected by colorism and how light-skinned women are put on a pedestal and how majority of black men, you know, always will push aside, you know, a dark-skinned woman and choose a light-skinned woman. And a lot of times this subject is always brushed off as, as if, you know, dark-skinned women are hating on, um, are hated on light-skinned women a lot of times we get told that you know we have insecurities or we have low self self-esteem but but a lot of times these men don't try to realize is that where a lot of these women are coming from and most women are talking from their pain because what are most women judged on their looks and a lot of times our looks you know, determine how we are treated by society, especially black men. We all know how um, superficial and how shallow men can be. And pretty much if you are not the standard of beauty, you get the short end of the stick, you know what I'm saying? And when you are being treated a certain way because of how you look, it does affect your self-esteem. And the reason why a lot of people don't really care to address this subject and they brush it off as it's nothing because they're not affected by it you know just like with anything else um you'll probably ignore somebody else's problems or brush it off as it's nothing because you're not affected by it but what a lot of men don't realize is the what a lot of black men don't realize is the only reason why you know um the only reason why they brush this so fast is nothing and they call dark-skinned women insecure and say that we're jealous of light-skinned women and say that color room is not that big of a deal and it's just our preference. And it's nothing wrong with having a preference, but we all know how dark-skinned women get treated, especially by media, especially by white people, and, you know, especially by, you know, other black men, you know, calling black, you know, dark women, you know, aggressive, angry, and saying they're not feminine enough. And a lot of times they don't really know nothing about that woman. They don't really know what that woman has gone through and why she looks, you know, upset and why she looks mad and stuff like that. You know, they assume the worst about a dark skinned woman without her even, without even getting to know, getting to know her. And, and most black men they're not affected by colorism you know what i'm saying and i feel like the only reason why they have this attitude about colorism is because men are not judged on their looks and if we started judging men on their looks and we only wanted to date a man because he looks good you know what if black women what if women only wanted to date a man just because he looks good. It didn't really matter what what was in his pockets. You know what I'm saying? And if we started saying, like, you know, I only date light-skinned brothers. I don't date no darkies. I don't like dark-skinned black men. They look like monkeys and all this other type of stuff. And then they will start to understand where black women are coming from. And the only reason why they brush the subject off, off as is nothing is because they're not affected by it. And they're not judged on their looks. They're judging. They're judged on based on whether or not, you know, they can provide for a woman. So that's the only reason. The only reason. So if y'all men are lucky, you know what I'm saying. A lot of men would be up shit creek if women were only dating men, you know, based upon their looks and stuff like that. And I see a lot of gorgeous, beautiful women in relationships with some ugly monsters out there. You know what I'm saying? They, I'm like, y'all are so lucky that women do not base men off of, this, off of their looks. Because otherwise, y'all will be in trouble.